Now on four, it's them versus the banker. Deal or no deal? Twenty-two boxes, a quarter of a million pounds, just one question. Welcome to Deal or No Deal. Father's Day to you. Welcome to Deal or No Deal. On Friday, I mentioned the fact that I, uh, I disagreed with a couple of the views of people in the East Wing. But I'm delighted to say I am in total harmony with the West Wing. This is Simon, who used to be a forklift truck driver, but he's not now. I'm not. And nor am I. <laughs> and Spike? Spike is five foot tall. And I used to be five foot tall. <laughs> And then Kerry. Kerry wants to be a primary school teacher. That, and I used to be a primary school teacher, really? really? Yeah, I did. And then this is Jihad. And he used to be involved in the wig trade. He <laughs> used... Yeah, seriously, seriously. Yeah, he yeah. used to sell hairs. And I once bought a rabbit, and she was very <laughs> happy with it. Here come the names. <laughs> Here it is, your life-changing opportunity. Yes, it's you, Paul. <laughs> Come on, Paul, make this a memorable weekend. Welcome to your game. Thank you, Noel. That was a strange curtsy you were doing there. <laughs> Paul Williams from uh, Shrewsbury, Shropshire. Forklift truck driver. Yes, yes. Oh, Simon used to be a forklift truck driver, but he's not anymore. He couldn't have been any good. No. <laughs> but are you good? <laughs> not bad, not bad, yeah. not bad, yeah. yeah. You can sit down if you 15 want. years in charge of 10 drivers as a team leader. Wow. Uh, in the car industry. Pick up parts, put them onto wagons, send them out. Very good. Um, tell me about Caroline. Well, Caroline, um, she's just sat there. <laughs> uh, I've known Cassie for uh, 35, 36 years. What, were you at her birth? <laughs> <laughs> I think she'll like you for that. <laughs> um, I was the best mate with her brother, and um, I was about 18, 17, 18. I asked her to go to a party with me, and I took her from there. Uh, we used to work next to each other in a in an uh, electrical factory, and uh, there was a fence between the, between the two factories, and we used to sit there and have our sandwiches. So there you were through the chain link yeah. fence, yeah. pushing our jam sandwiches. Oh, <laughs> good way of grating cheese. <laughs> oh, oh, I like stories like that. It's nice. So now, what have we got here? This is my stepdad, Alan, uh, right. and my mum, Marlene. Yeah. This is Caroline's mum and dad. Lynn and Eric. Where are they? Apart they're, from in the dark. They're probably in the pub. Right, if anywhere, okay. that's going to be a pub. Say no more. Yeah. And there? Uh, well, obviously, there's our Caroline in the middle. This is our Holly, who's uh, 15, going on 26. And this one's little Lucy, who's seven. Lovely. And then this. This is a, a pig in a in a barrel full of beer. Uh, Holly bought me this. Well, she actually got it me from a car boot sale. Uh, about 13 years ago. It keeps me good luck. Um, the reason for it, the pig is because my nickname's Porky. So. Why are you called Porky? Um, well, basically, when I was uh, born, I was born very premature and uh, I was taken to Birmingham Hospital, um, where at the time the steroids and the, the drugs that they give at the time to keep you going sort of like bloated me. And, oh. my, and my uncle nicknamed it me. 
And they just oh, that was there. kind, wouldn't it? Yeah, so... <laughs> there you were, I'd like to... struggling for life, yeah. and Uncle says, oh, call him Porky. Yeah, so I'd like to thank Uncle Michael on national television for that lovely nickname. Oh, OK, Porky. Uh, I'm only ever called Paul if my mum tells me off, so... <laughs> <laughs> OK, then. Well, Porky, did you... Uh, uh, would you please confirm you chose box 14 at random before the game began? I certainly did. <coughs> Oink. And, uh, of course, <laughs> it's uh, sealed uh, by the independent adjudicator who seals all 22 boxes and is the only person who, who knows where the money is. Yeah. Well, Mr and Mrs Porky, good luck! Thank you very much. <laughs> I'm gonna go with lovely Liz, box number eight. Okay, Liz. Good luck, Paul. Thanks, Liz. Yeah! 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 I think I'll get Mark out of the way, box number one. Welcome to the show, Mark. Thank you, Porky. <laughs> Best luck, mate. Best luck, mate. Number 11, please. That's the luck if it's blue. Thank you, buddy. Oh, he wants the one feet. Oh, let's go. Run it. Run it. Oh, sorry, sorry. Sorry. <laughs> Deborah. Deborah 21, please. Oh, you're looking great, but we lost you on Thursday and Friday. Are you feeling better? I'm feeling brilliant. Fantastic. Good. Thank you for asking. Good to have you back. Thank you. Good luck, Paul. Thank you, Deb. Yeah! Very, very nice. Very good again. Yeah! Well very nice opening so far. Don't spoil it. Shell number five, please. Good luck. Good opening. Paul Blues. Wow. Well, the cry goes up. Porky knows how to pick them. Hello, banker. Oh, happy Father's Day to you, too. They're all wearing badges, yes. With pictures of fathers, yes. Yeah, Paul, well, Porky's here. Yeah, Porky's here. And Caroline's here. What an ugly pig. Oh, on the table here, he's got a really <laughs> ugly pig, yes. <laughs> Phew. <laughs> yeah. I know you're trying to distract us, but four blues and the 20,000 the 20, has only created a division between the blocks. It's a great opener from Porky. Thank you very much. Splendid. Wow. Um, well, he pointed out if you're going to be porky, he's going to be a swipe. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, this box now has a value, if you want to cash it in, of £11,500. <laughs> well, that's amazing when you think of it in those terms. £11,500. What do you think? Mrs. Porky, what do you ring? A lot of money. Yeah. It's a lot of money. Plenty of handbags. And shoes. And shoes. Hairdos. <laughs> straighteners. Oh, I want some straighteners, yeah. Straighteners? Yeah, I want a pair of straighteners. Caroline actually asked me if I were to win what I do if I win enough. She would like a new pair of um, air straighteners yeah. to put in a brand new conservatory. Ah, <laughs> so, right. Yes. But we haven't actually had built yet, so. Right, okay. I'm ready for the question, though. Uh, Eleven and a half thousand pounds, a deal or no deal. Thank you, Mr. Banker. That's a fantastic offer, but no deal. Thank you. <laughs> go, Porky, go! Um, Olivia, please. Box number seven. Good luck, Paul. Thank you very much. I'll do. Yeah. 
17. Noel Senior, please. I like the senior bit, thanks. <laughs> right, Noel, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. Are you missing Ireland? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes we chat like this for hours. <laughs> Anyway, can't keep gassing on like this, Noel. <laughs> Open the box if you wouldn't mind. <laughs> Five grand, yeah, 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 we're happy with that. Thank you, Noel. Big group call. Big group call. Good luck. Honestly, Porky, this is, this, is a, this is a crackling board, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> it really is. Absolutely. We're going to take a break, and I know you're the kind of guy that's been thinking this through, you've been planning like mad, you've been savouring the opportunity to have your big talk to the nation, the camera is yours, why should Britain return on this Father's Day? Cue him. I better forget it, I better knock it all off. Um, there was a great fight once, and um, Cassius Clay said, um, I float like a butterfly and I sting like a bee. He really forgot to say was there's only going to be one winner between the banker and me. Come back. Oh. Yes. That's what planning is all about. I know he's called Paul, but when he was born, he was uh, a little bit on the uh, large side because of various drugs to keep him alive, and his uncle called him Porky, which is... What was the uncle's name? Uncle Michael. Uncle Michael. I hope you're totally ashamed. <laughs> totally ashamed. But we are calling him Porky because he's very happy. OK. Do you want to uh, uh, open a box? 13, Lois, please. Good luck. Yeah, I can safely say that this man does not like you. Hello, banker. Oh, what, 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 what great board. You're at 11 and a half. This box is now worth, if you want to take it right now, an offer of 15 and a half thousand. <laughs> It's a bit of a good lump of money, isn't it? Look at just... It's over 12 months' wage, isn't it, when you look at it? £15,500. Nobody would blame you if you decided you wanted to take it. I'm ready for the question, though. Porky, £15,500. Deal or no deal? Thank you very much, Mr Banker. That's a wonderful offer, but... No deal. Yeah! Jihad. Please, my mate. Number 19. Good luck, mate. Thank you, mate. That's all right. That's all right. Come on, Paul. This is, uh, this is interesting because uh, I don't know why everyone's so jumpy and so nervy. Yeah. Uh, you've still got the whole Power 5 sitting there, so I agree with Matt. That was all right. What's going to happen now, though? I'm going to pick box <laughs> number two. Pat, please. Sure. I am sure, Pat, because... I've got a bad reputation. You were... You were I, don't you worry. <laughs> right. I've heard about your reputation. <laughs> yeah. OK. <laughs> you ready, then? Go on, then. Something going on over there. She's three times. them all the time. <laughs> you got your ball picked up first today, didn't you? So, yeah. Yeah. Three times you've had it. Yeah. And the 250. And 75 in on four Friday. games. I'm glad you ain't got another yeah. box. <laughs> <laughs> Kerry, number 18, please. 
Thank you, Gary. <laughs> Love you, Paul. Okay. Good luck. isn't it? Losing the 100,000, he will place huge emphasis on that. Hello. Uh, Pat is very reliable to you. <laughs> yeah, big ones every single time. Uh, yeah, we do have a nickname for somebody who has an incredible run of uh, boxes like that. No, she's not a Terminator. She's not a Grim Reaper, no. And then you looked at her tan and you got it. What was it? <laughs> Agent Orange. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Agent Orange. Oh, Borky. Still a good board? Yeah, of course it's still a good board. No? It says he's not going down. Much. OK, thank you. Split the difference from where we were. Thirteen and a half thousand. I could do a lot with 13 and a half thousand. Of a lot. I could do the ice up a bit more. My mother-in-law worked all her life. Well, she's, well, she's retired now. And um, she had um, lung cancer. And then she got over that. And then 12 months later, she got breast cancer. And uh, she's, still, she's still around here now, like, and uh, she enjoys every minute of life. And she always says, if you get a chance at something, grab it by the horns. So I'm proud of her, I really am, because um, she's an inspiration to all the sufferers, how she got over it. And um, I, I, was on, I was unfortunate, like in my wallet, I got a picture of my mate, Gary. Uh, he died at 38, he, um, he got the disease, and, and he watched this show right up to the end. I got his wallet in my pocket, give me his wallet, and um, there he is. I mean, he's a, he's a fine looking lad, like. He was as fit as a fiddle, and um, he was just one of the unfortunate ones that never made it. So the way I look at it is that I'm not going to come on this show again. So on that, I am ready for the question. Please, Noel. OK. Thirteen and a half thousand pounds. Deal or no deal? Thank you very much, Mr Banker. It will do a lot for me, but no deal. Gonna go number six, please. All right, Emma. Fifteen thousand. <laughs> <All right. laughs> right, I think you're ahead of me, actually, Porky. But it's got to be one P and three thousand downwards. Ten, please, Simon. I hope it's here for you, buddy. Those fault lift drivers have got to stick together. Thank you, mate. really are here to seize the moment. Yeah, I do, I do believe that. He says he always rewards courage. But more than that, he fears the player who is here to grab that one opportunity. Is that you? That's me, no. Really you? Me. Right, come back and see the man who's going to grab the banker. <laughs> Welcome back to the game of one Paul Williams, affectionately known as Porky. 
And uh, the fact of the matter is, if you could find the penny in the next box, that is a fabulous eight box. My good friend, Heath, please. Number nine. I so want this to be the penny for you, Paul. Good luck. 50k. 50,000. <laughs> Wow. Okay. Hello. You are impressed by what he said. Yeah. He, he thinks because he's observed you back at the hotel, apparently, making phone calls to Holly and Lucy, your daughters. He has observed you as very much the family man who would not want to take them a blue. That's what he's saying. <coughs> and that is the Paul he wishes to appeal to. He is here to seize the day. Oh, but the banker says you've already seized it. Yeah, you've turned down huge sums of money. And you've therefore, Borky, earned yourself a big offer. You were at 13 and a half. I just wonder how much 18,000 pounds means to you. <laughs> Porky, I think I can now anticipate just how much 20,000 pounds means to you. Oh. <laughs> I, I can't hear. I couldn't hear it. Eh? How much? You couldn't hear it? How much? No. £22,000. <laughs> Your box, Porky, is now worth £22,000 if you want it. That is an amazing offer. In the next round, you could take out the 250 and the 35, and then your game's over. I know. It's a lot of money. I know. On the other hand, Lois, I have to say it. Imagine a five box, all red. Imagine a five box with those three. What do you reckon? You know what they say nothing ventured, nothing gained. How long have you been married to Caroline? Um, 1992. Right. This seems to me to be a very personal moment. I didn't know whether you wanted her to come down and discuss this between the two of you. She's always said, come I don't on. want to come down. Come I said, on, but if Noel asks you, he'll have to. I, I, would, <laughs> I, I would like you to come down. <laughs> that, the reason I wanted you to come down, you can take all of the opinions here, there is a reality here. You talked about 13, meaning so much to you. 22,000 pounds, I can say it again, 22,000 pounds is potential reality. I think what the two of you, however, have got to decide. You've convinced the banker you're here to seize the day, but which part of the day are you gonna seize? Are you gonna seize this bit? Or are you gonna let the day go on a little longer hopefully sees a quarter of a million pounds. Don't be greedy. We get that in this game. Don't but you know, greedy. sometimes... <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh dear. You're having that effect on women again. <laughs> I thought that was coming. It's for you. Oh. Hello. Oh, you sound nice. Not to be greedy. Exactly. And you. Yeah.
Come on. He's got me all. You well, suddenly tap. roared with laughter. Oh, I did. He just made me laugh. He said he's got a curly tail that he liked to show me and <laughs> <laughs> wants to talk to me nice. Yeah. Right. And then he said, if you could still leave the three, the power five. Yeah, the three biggies. Yeah, the three biggest. Yeah. It would be double. To forty-four thousand. Yeah. God, it's a lot of money, poor kid. It would. That change our life and the kids. I know. I know was it, it a purpose of me being picked today on Father's Day? Is it? Is it something there? That... But don't be greedy. I'm not going to be on. The, I don't want to be greedy. I know. But is there a purpose of today? That's why I wanted you down here because yeah. I think it is you. It, it... It's you and the girls. Yeah. You've made it clear you're a very close family. Yeah, we are. And, um, yeah, I can yeah. feel your agony here. This yeah. is not easy, is it? Do you think you've got the 250,000? Whether well, there's 250,000 in there, 75 or 35, it's the choice I've got to make, isn't it? <laughs> right. Today. So you want the question? Yeah. <laughs> no, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Calm down, dear. <laughs> yeah. I'm ready for the question, Noel. <laughs> OK. £22,000. Deal or no deal? Thank you very much, Mr Banker. As we say, we'll seize the moment. Deal. Well... We saved the marriage, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> OK. Um, has to be said that we are looking for one of the most catastrophic continuations that we've ever had. Uh, where would you have gone next? 22, Gladys. OK, you've taken 22, and your first box is 22. Gladys, uh, we want to see those top three go. In fact, Gladys, the top three, if they stay, means that he could have doubled the money. I'll try and help him, bless him. Thank Good you, Gladys. Thank you, Gladys. That's kind of you to help. Oh, there's one of them. <laughs> well, that's good. Um, there's the first success, right? Because the next offer, if you'd been playing on, couldn't be 44,000. No. Because that was based upon the three being there. Come on, what's the next one? I was looking at Michael, number 20, please. Yeah, OK, Michael, you do it. Is it possible that, actually, he's come out brilliantly and then he's going to have the most disastrous round you could imagine at the most perfect time? Away you go. No? Oh, no, 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 no. Don't, 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 stop clapping that. Oh, she got clapitis. We don't want to clap that. That's not what we wanted to see. <laughs> right, now... Corky, this has got to be the quarter mill. Dan, Gok. That's like Paul. This has got to be the quarter mill. It really has. Oh no, no, no! Oh no! So we lost one of them. That would mean the next offer is not going to be double the deal. That's for certain. But actually, if you'd gone on, you would have created. A very powerful five box. Hello. Ah. Says he's feeling very, very smug now. 33 grand. Wow. OK, all Good right. Offer, There's a lot to think about here. <laughs> Tremendous yeah. amount to think about. Spike, number three, please. All right, Spike, go on. Oh, he pulls that face. Prove that you <laughs> are now leaning on a quarter of a million. That's OK, yeah, that is yeah, worth applauding, yeah, because we do want to get that one out in this round. If this is the ideal round, it's all red. But it's 16 or 4. Paul. Pauline, please. OK, Pauline, prove 
that he was never going to win it by going to the end of the game. Thank you. No! Oh, my word. Oh, my word. <laughs> the last time we had a climax to a game with the 1p and the quarter of a million, he said to the player, a lady called Alice, he said to her, give me back my 17 and a half thousand and you can go for it. And she did. And she became our second quarter millionaire. Could you be about to get the banker's gamble? Where are you going? 16 or 12? Judith. Darling Judith. All right, Judith. Um, do you know something? Having come up with that thought, I don't know what I want to see. <laughs> no, I really, really I don't. Do, I really I don't. don't know what I want to see. If this is the quarter of a million, you avoided an all blue finish. But if it's not the quarter of a million, and it's the 750, would he gamble again? I don't know what I want to see, Judith, but we're going to see it. I really hope this is it for you. I think it is. Oh! Wow! You weren't joining the 1P club and you've probably missed the chance of the banker's gamble. <laughs> or have you? Would he do it on that? Yes. Hello? No way, he says. No way would he do it on 750 and a quarter mil. When you did it with Alice, it was because you wanted to see somebody win the 1P, and you're not that interested in the 750. Oh, my word. You went at 22,000. If you'd hung on for just one more, you could have had 33,000. If you'd got to this point with that configuration, he would have offered you 55,000. Oh. And do you know what? He confirmed. But if you'd found the 750 and not the 1P, he'd have offered you the gamble. He'd have given you the chance to hand back 22,000 and you could have gone for it. And you could have become our first male quarter millionaire. Could I ask you to swap over? Yep. And uh, you would always get the swap. Now, I'm going to ask the question because I want to play this out. <laughs> as it would have gone, right? You look shocked. You look in a state of absolute <laughs> shock here. So, swap or no swap? No swap. Right. So, what I'm about to open would have been your destiny if you decided, and I know it was niggling you, Porky, I know it was getting to you. You had that funny feeling You'd been chosen because it's Father's Day. You had that funny feeling today was your day. Yeah? Yeah. <sighs> this is a fright. Uh -huh. Should you have been taking home to your daughters a quarter of a million pounds? £22,000 a good sum, isn't it? Rachel, um, complete, complete the game, cos he, he wouldn't have swapped, so you had the 750. Now, I've got to ask you, because we're all dying to know, would you have taken the banker's gamble and have handed back the £22,000? Yeah. <sighs> this was my day, this was. Would you? I would have done. <laughs> this was my day. I knew it was in there, but the 22,000 is a great deal of money, but to be given a second chance, I would have taken the gamble. How are you feeling? I've got 22 grand in my wallet. Woo! <laughs> we'll be talking about it for a long time. 
I am absolutely delighted that I'm saying on Father's Day, Porky, £22,000. <laughs> different games, astonishing, incredible, unbelievable, amazing. That's a wow! <laughs> he could have been our first male quarter millionaire. But it could happen again tomorrow. Have a wonderful Father's Day. I will see you tomorrow. I just know it. You'll be back for more. Bye-bye. Next on for The Basics. Boundaries, Responsibilities, Supernanny USA.